Too many, yes, without doubt. Um, I think that uh, the foreign players, some of them have uh, undoubtedly contributed to our game. They have improved the standard of, of play. But the flip side to that coin is that uh, there are very few Gibraltarians playing in our league uh, nowadays, and that has very serious implications for the GFA and for Gibraltarian football, not least uh, the fact that uh, if the trend, the current trend continues at the current rate, we will struggle to field the national team within five to six years, and that is something that the GFA cannot permit. Um, Michael Yamas, the GFA president, is already on record, and I am on, on record already as saying that we want to reverse that trend. And to be clear, at the risk that it might sound almost as xenophobic, it's a positive interpretation, isn't it? It's that you yeah. want to promote and exactly, provide exactly. opportunities for I mean, the, the gist, local players. The gist of it is not to stop foreign players coming in, because that would uh, start to uh, infringe EU freedom of movement uh, legislation. Our approach to it has been to introduce competition regulations which require a certain number of Gibraltarians on the field of play. Uh, and what that will do is ensure that the national team manager, Jeff Woods, has at his disposal a, a minimum pool uh, of, say, mm -hmm. around 30, 40, 50 players playing regularly week in, week out for their clubs that he can then use for the national team. And that will protect, it, it certainly won't infringe the, 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 uh, the, you know, the freedom of a foreign player to come in and sign for a Gibraltarian club, mm -hmm. but what it will do is ensure that we have Gibraltarians regularly playing for their clubs at the top level here in Gibraltarian football. Uh, and I think that's very important. I think we need to uh, start to respect the principle that uh, the GFA is in this and the GFA has joined UEFA and FIFA to maximise opportunities for Gibraltarian players first and foremost. And I think we've forgotten that, and I include the GFA in this. I think we've all forgotten that in the first three years uh, since UEFA membership, and we need to redress that and put that right this summer.